Hello everyone, Jim here from Remick Museum and Farm and welcome to another beautiful week here at the farm. And I thought I'd just give you a little tour of some of the things that are going on. Uh, we've done some nice tours of things out and about and had specific topics, but I thought I'd just update everyone and see what's going on in the farm and the gardens and kind of everywhere. So let's go walk around and see what's going on. So last week we featured our Holstein cows and the history that we have recreated by having our first Holstein calves for a very long time. But those are not our only dairy cows on property, so Rue and Rio are patiently waiting their turn to head on into the milking parlor and grab a snack before they have a chance to get milked. Here are Ray and Reese, the Jersey calves. Cows only provide milk when they have a calf, and these two are patiently waiting for their moms to be milked so they can have dinner as well. Dinner is always a popular time here at the farm, so some of the beef cows are enjoying a hay bale. The goat kids are chowing down on their green mix. They only get this at nighttime once a day, so it's a, an exciting treat for them, although sometimes they're a little bit aggressive with, with each other. And the gardens are starting to come to life. Definitely looking uh, wonderful. Shannon's been doing a great job of keeping things going. And you can see she's got some things covered up here. Hoping to reduce our uh, pests using non-chemical methods. Um, the only problem with this, they get a little hot sometimes. We have to carefully watch those. Uh, certainly have our visitors into the greenhouse. Not causing too much damage, but always there. And up in our experimental gardens, we have been able to get our cover crops in. They're just starting to come in. We've got some of our leftover clover and things from last year, but the cover crop's coming in nicely. And we're excited to see how lush that gets and hopefully adds a bunch of new soil nutrients uh, for next year when we are able to plant again. And at the very least, our uh, swallowtail butterflies are very much enjoying the clover that we've got over there. Something else very recent is the chickens have went out to pasture and so they're able to enjoy some natural forage. Uh, also a nice benefit of this is adding some nutrients into the soil and unfortunately I haven't seen the chickens for a while so they are less familiar with me and you can definitely hear the rooster fulfilling his role in the flock and warning those chickens and watching out for trouble which in this case happened to be me.
Our first batch of piglets for the year are still a little bit shy around people, but uh, if you're patient, you can see them all and see how many there are. So, can you count how many piglets there are? Minnie the farm rabbit is doing great, but she had to take a couple days break from being outside so that the road in front of her little pen could be repaired. And we didn't want her to get disturbed from all the loud noise, but hopefully the typical flooding won't happen anymore. And we've been able to keep busy with curbside pickup and able to provide farm fresh products to the community. And that's been a good, good thing during all of this. We've also been able to do some spring cleaning and spruce up some of our outdoor spaces. Don has been doing an excellent job of uh, helping out in Marion's garden here. All right, I hope everyone enjoyed your visit around the farm a little bit. I'm uh, taking a little break here in the shade. Not too hot today, but it's sunny enough that it's hard to beat the shade of the gazebo. Uh, so um, again, if you're liking our videos make sure you give us a, a like and subscribe on YouTube if that's what you're following along at and if you're following along on Facebook you can give us a like and share with your friends if you enjoy seeing the content here uh, hopefully again we'll see you real soon uh, it'll be nice to have people walking around out in the farm and 
being able to visit in a safe way. So hopefully we'll be able to have that happen real soon. But take care, everyone, and I'll see you next week. Bye.